Hello everybody, Karzy here. Um, after going through to the moon, I kind of felt like there were a few plot holes and just just things that didn't feel right. So, well, actually, one thing in particular. But uh, uh, before we get too into this, I just kind of want to let everyone know this is not like official from the creator. Half of the half of this information is evidence from the game. The other half is a mixture of speculation, what I found through you know forums, and a little bit of my own little psychoanalyzing you know ramble behind it all. So, uh, but I thought it was appropriate because there are kind of a few things that are a little bit confusing, and some of this I didn't even see myself like this whole start this all started because um that part that scene in in the high school where i just kind of got confused i didn't know what johnny was trying to say you know about him wanting river for what she has but not what she wants it, it didn't make too much sense to me and so i looked it up because I can't figure it out myself. <laughs> I feel kind of stupid, but eh, whatever. Um, but mainly to get like a new perspective to satisfy my own curiosity, and that kind of snowballed into finding, like, just, just stumbling onto a ton of other information about the game, and. Well, it, this originally started as just an early afterthought. I wanted to look it up to tell you guys, you know, what I missed, what it really means, and that way some things might make more sense. But, eh, in the end, it ended up, I ended up, like, typing out this huge fucking essay or some shit. So, it's enough to make a video about, so here it is. I'm gonna shut up now. So, enjoy, and I hope thing this makes things a little bit easier to understand. Johnny wanting River for what she has, but not what she wants. He meant uniqueness. So he thought when he would hook up with River, that he would become a unique person, other than a typical person, you know, just lost, lost in the sea of typical people. And I think this is because it's, it's his real self trying to break free and i say this because when his brother died his mother started just calling him joey and you know the name of his brother and he started to pick up joey's likeliness like joey was more about animals he picked up on that joey was about pickle nasty things and he got into that and his mom continued to call him Joey, and it was probably out of just guilt-ridden denial, going crazy, and she couldn't handle the fact that she killed her own child. So, and it was said that Joey was her favorite, but, you know, that could have been kids between the two, but it's hard to deny that when she starts calling the other kid Joey. So, so Johnny grew up you know, t essentially discarding his own natural childhood, his own natural personality, to pick up Joey, to play this role as Joey to satisfy everyone else in the world. Along with him unable to cope with the loss and the medication messing with his head. And this social mask that Johnny wears, I think helped River become attracted to him because she kind of does the same thing. It's hinted by Isabel that they both, you know, have this illness that uh, that feels like they're faking it or they're actresses to, you know, society and, you know, the social norms. And what's not said in the game and what absolutely drove me fucking crazy was not knowing what River had. So, of course, I had to look that one up. I my own curiosity i my hand was possessed by my inner will but uh oh. <laughs> enough of that 
So what River has is Asperger's syndrome. My, my sincerest apologies if I'm not pronouncing this right. I'm I'm trying, but uh, and the way to find this out was hinted in the doctor's visit when he hands them a book or tries to give them a book written by Tony Atwood. Now Tony Atwood is a real life person. He is a writer, and he writes a lot of books about Aspergers. The most notable one is the Complete Guide to Aspergers Syndrome, and so that, that it's assumed that the book is the Complete Guide to Aspergers Syndrome. Aspergers Syndrome is not a deadly disease, though, so that's not what killed her. It's it's more of a sort of autism, and. What, what really killed her is mostly up to speculation. It's believed that she had cancer because they uh, referenced it in stages. Now, as far as the rabbits, there's actually a lot deeper meaning in it than I found on my own. Um, you know, the, the game has various hints to the r rabbit reappearing everywhere. And it's it's actually a really important factor, mostly the River, because uh, when Johnny and River met on that night at the carnival, you know that was before he took the beta blockers and you know messed up his memory. To her, the rabbit was a symbol of the moon and their first meeting. Now Johnny doesn't remember it. But River, in her own way, she does, and it's a, it's a huge important part to her, and she tries to convey that to Johnny over and over, to, to try to remind him of that one night, to kind of spark some forgotten, you know, innate subconscious memory and feeling to her. Because over the years, it kind of felt like they they fell apart from each other and th this was halfway well mostly due to uh, Johnny feeling guilty now Johnny felt guilty because he realized he wanted to get with River to be more unique but what he what he didn't know or and what I believe is that it was his childhood kind of trying his real self from childhood trying to scream at him you know hey you liked her she you know get with her and the way Johnny saw it it, it it felt like a freeing sensation that he was freeing himself from a social mask of you know essentially absorbing his uh, brother's personality uh, it was a way for him to be free with River because she knows him for what he really is even though he doesn't remember it himself and River tries to to tell him that through you know the folding of the rabbits and that's why I believe she started doing it after he told her that he he feels guilty so essentially he feels guilty that he wanted her just for her uniqueness so he could become unique and River's like no you you just genuinely like me you're just telling yourself this because it's the only thing that makes sense in your mind here let me try to remind you of that night so it's not you feeling guilty it's you genuinely wanting to be with me so she starts doing the origami rabbits thinking you know hey remember when we did the constellation the moon together and we found the rabbit no and that's why she ke keeps on asking what what else reminds you about it what what else do you remember about the rabbit you know i i saw it as a, <laughs> as a woman test thing but in reality it was her trying to say please tell me you remember and that's why even the the final rabbit had a different colored chest. That was kind of one of her ways of, hey, remembering that the chest was the moon, it was different. You know, she was trying to spark something in, within him. And that's another reason why she cut her hair. Um, it's thought that she cut her hair because when they were kids, she had short hair. So she thought, you know, hey, if I cut my hair, it might be one more hint. 
And because the rabbit held such an important symbol for River, that's what made the, the dead rabbit on their wedding day feel that much more of an omen. Uh, a bad omen at that. Um, it, it was kind of symbolically saying that he will never remember that night. That night is dead. You know, you, you won't be able to change that. And River, it, it was a important thing to River because she, throughout the rest of her life, kept on trying to remind him. She did not want to give up on him. The wish to go to the moon part is probably mostly self-explanatory, but I kind of want to talk about it anyways. Um, I, it, to me, that was, again, his real self, the real Johnny, uh, trying to come out at at the last moment to to try and remind him of his life and why he really likes river and it's not just you know you're wrong it's you don't want to be with her just to be unique you want to be with her to be with her um and that that's why uh johnny didn't even understand the wish himself at first he didn't know where it was coming from he just wanted to go to the moon and that that's what the whole game was about trying to find the root meaning of wanting to go to the moon and ah cat hey no what he really wanted was to to regroup with river back in that night at the carnival they said you know hey if we ever get lost or if you forget it, big hint if you forget uh how would we meet up with each other again and he said oh we'll just meet up on the moon silly and to river that was a huge important thing because he became lost he forgot and so she's trying to tell him hey we need to regroup on the moon so because johnny feels like he lost river emotionally and physically it it was his real childhood self saying hey we need to go to to the moon because that's what we said we would do when we lost each other we would regroup on the moon and that's what sparked the the urge of him to contact the company to go to the moon in the end i don't even think he cared to you know physically go to the moon despite what he probably believed at the time or told himself at the time when he called the company in the end he just wanted to be with river to determine if changing his memories was the right call or not is something you guys are gonna have to figure out for yourselves this is on a very very opinionated morality debate on one hand you have a dying man's wish that the last moments of his life he have the he has this fake you know happy memory then on the other hand you have what was what's true what's real and it's you can't really say which one's right or wrong i'm not here to tell you that the game isn't here to tell you that the game is here to make you think that on your own but enough about all this i attempted to uh, try to make this story make more sense but i think i end up rambling and confusing more than i initially planned i hope this answers some questions or gives you something to think about later either or you know that's that's why i think this game was made and uh well i guess i should end it on that i hope you guys enjoyed to the moon i did great game you, i enjoyed it the way i enjoy a good tragedy but either way it, it'll always be a good memory to me so uh well take care of my people stay awesome Garzia. out